Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Spider47 here, and we are the Hansa. In the last episode, we left off ready to declare war on Norway. And for that, we need to move our troops. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to load up our 18 units here. Go ahead and attach them to the transport. And we'll move them up to... What is that? Buzlan? Now, one of the other things that we were, that I noticed, Sweden is moving their army, and I believe it's in response to rebels sieging Lapland. However, they also have a mission to protect Norway now. Usually a mission like that would mean the vassalization or whatnot, so I am going to assume they may declare. Sweden, at the time, is one tech military tech below us, so that may offset some of their ideas, as you can see. They have three offensive ideas. They have a plus 5% prestige, or no, discipline, sorry. They have plus 20% combat for infantry. So they are going to be difficult, and if we don't deal with them sooner, they will make hard work later on. Alright, with that said, I think what we're going to do is we're going to unpause, and... Oldenburg has cancelled military access. That looks great. You can come to this port. Now, we have a free diplomat, and let's see, we're fabricating a claim on Ostpoisen. Okay. Who else do we want a claim on? I think we can't do anything because we sent you a warning at the very end of the episode. Let's see. Should we take another claim on Yorkshire. You have 14 aggressive expansion with us. <laughs> Tough to say. Let's go ahead and fabricate another claim on you. Besides, I believe we have a mission to fabricate on Nordjylland. There we go. Oh. Let us group our ships together. Let's take them over here. We're going to pull out of England temporarily. Don't foresee any problems with England in the immediate future. Now, we could declare war. Bavaria turned Protestant. Let's see. Our fleet arrived. Let's go ahead and grab these units. Now, it will be nice. Oh, England has converted to Protestant. Now, if only France would flip. Where's this map mode? There it is. So, Bohemia instantly flipped. Brandenburg has a province now. Be interesting to see. England has. Hmm. France still looks very yellow. Switzerland has converted as well. What's the force limit here? 30, so we're good to bring over the remainder. Now, where are we on oh, Norway's Protestant? We are three over our force limit, so I'm going to start losing a little bit of money. If we take a province or two, we'll offset that. It's election time. Let's see. Are we behind on any tech or ahead? We're ahead in all of them. Hmm, military tech? Or it might be coring, so I think since we're going to be coring, let's go ahead and take another bureaucrat. Alright, got an army of 23 and an army of 32. Now, we've got one more spare diplomat. We are nearly complete. Nope. Wow. Must have sent that gentleman at the very end. Oh, and France has declared on Poland. Well, that's going to make this war slightly less attractive. Let's go ahead and attach you again. We're going to send you down. Now, we don't want to lose our fleet instantly, so where are you? You're protecting Lubeck. It's somewhere around here. Yep. There you are. 
Hmm, where do we want to stick this fleet? Ten light ships here. I think we're going to go ahead and split out our heavies. We're going to send them here. You are temporarily going to have to come here. And you are going to come straight down to Gotland. Alright. So, it's going to be France, Hungary versus Poland and Lithuania. This will make for an interesting... Uh-oh. There we go. We've blown up the Norwegian. What? All right. Let's quickly we managed to get a galley. We don't need a galley. Let's get rid of you. You have absolutely no use in our fleet at the moment. Send you back. And as soon as this fleet is destroyed... Or completely blockaded... Send everyone back out to protect trade. So we need the Baltic. And we need the... Lubick trade note as well. There we go. Now... Our wonderful vassal decides to instantly march south. I don't know where you're going. Maybe the capital. Oh, there's a war going on down there as well. We are going to take our time and march toward... Don't want to lose any to attrition. I'm going to march into Danzig and just sit there. Now, I do believe that France is going to be the war leader. So any claims that we sit on, we may potentially get. We'll go ahead and let them negotiate for us. That might help a little bit. There we go. Let's come straight on down here. Send the remaining units after. Bring you up here. Oldenburg is Protestant. If only France would join. Hmm... <clears throat> Now, luckily for us, France is on our side in this war, so I'm not going to have to worry too much about... Oh. We engaged the Polish army, or what was left of it at the moment. And our army from Norway has grouped back together, so we shall send them to... Hmm. I think we're just going to siege up each and every one of these provinces, really. Now, I don't want to stick our entire army there, but we're going to need to siege down one quickly, and then we'll just kind of put the remainder. Oh, Brunswick. You don't need to join the coalition. It's not that bad. Uh-oh. Now, do we have another leader that we can put in charge? Go ahead and get one real quick. They will arrive on the 28th. We will be out of there in not enough time. So we'll just sit here. What we're going to do is we're going to select our army. We're going to leave behind the five cannon. We're going to march this way. And we're going to tell them to attach. Now, France holds the war the siege. It's unfortunate. Maybe they'll give it to us. Maybe they'll march south. go. I don't think... Oh, look at our vassal. He's coming back retreating. So, uh, we are marching to Marienburg. Put the remainder right here. Put these gentlemen right here. There we go. And hopefully France will leave the province of Danzig. But unfor I don't think what's going to happen. I think they see any need to potentially group up. Oh, they gave it to us. How nice of you, France. Thank you. 
Go ahead and bring these ships over here as well. We'll try to blockade and quickly get these sieges down. We are going to pay attention to our manpower because, well, we're replenishing heavily. So 19 ducats a month. And as you can see, it took a quite a massive drop. The opportunity to take another idea. Corn cost. Hmm. Do we want... I think we're going to wait. Because if we get a... No, we're not going to wait, apparently. Another one of my misclicks. Now, the advantage should be on our side at this point. Yep, I don't see a, any chance at all. Bavaria is a two-province miner down here. They're not going to do anything. Hungary is busy fighting off Poland and Lithuania by themselves. All right, agricultural revolution. We have managed to increase our agricultural production by implementing new farming techniques for plantations, irrigation, and land properties. Organ land properties organizations and thereby bringing higher tax income to our state so Holland can have and gain two base tax and 50 ducats hmm. manpower is nice so is base tax so you you would go to five <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll raise that Besides, we need a little bit of extra cash. Oh, look, we finished our mission. We can take Vastagotland, form an alliance with Wales, not interested, or construct a grand fleet. Have more or equal heavy ships than 20. How many heavy ships do we have? 14? No. We'll leave all of those alone for the time being. We are going to go fabricate a claim on... Let's pause for a second. Hmm. What do we want? It'd be nice to have Smaland. There we go. At 0 0.06. Definitely start fabricating claims on... France, where are you going? If we all sit here and siege up very nicely, this war will be quick and painless. Oh, wow. A 0 0.06 chance. And we were discovered. What a shame. Muscovy is improving relations with us. Oh, they love us. Maybe we can improve relations with them in return. Quite a ways off of getting an alliance, but... Hey. If they join in and declare on Lithuania right now, that would be fantastic. They'll definitely be able to soak up the Swedish manpower. Alright, Marienburg is finished. So we will now be able to pull our troops out. Let's see. Grab you. Bring you here. And then we'll grab you. And bring you all here as well now. 33, so we're going to put quite... No, uh, I think we're going to do... Hmm. We're going to sit. There's no point. These sieges are almost finished. Poland's navy has come out and come out to play pretty much. See how that goes. Lorraine is Protestant and the emperor gains 0.5 yearly prestige, minus 10% core creation cost and we get 0.1 prestige. We're on the wrong end of the stick on that, unfortunately. Lorraine is improving relations with us. France is foolishly landing troops. Again, this is one of those... We have a province right here. They could very easily dock. They don't have to fight. They don't waste time trying to land troops. They're just, you know, dock right here. March down. But no, not interested. All right, in a group together, we're going to detach any damaged ships, send them home for a second to heal. There we go, and we'll just wait out these sieges. Oh, surprise, surprise. All right, Danzig, taken care of. So just Valmir. Mm hmm hmm. Wow, France. 
You can't get military access. You could even just dock in one of my provinces. Uh, France. Did you get military access from Austria? Yes. But they're not going to help you much. Maybe get from them as well? Yeah. Get access from two provinces and you'd be fine. Alright, I think I'm going to call the episode here. We are at war with Poland, our one and only ally at the moment. Unless, of course, we can form an alliance with them. No. We could support their independence. Isn't that what this war is about? French war for independence. I mean... Unless you foresee us losing this France. Don't need to support it twice, do I? Alright. Call the episode here. France is conveniently getting blown to pieces. We are sieging provinces and... Well, we have Danzig. We have Ostpreußen. 9 and... 12. Hopefully we uh, get these in the peace deal. That said, maybe not. Who knows? Alright. If you liked the series so far, leave a like, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.